Hey y'all, what's up? This is Jesse Booth, aka J Bone, and we are here. We're getting ready to play hole number one. This is the par three of the Milanio course. Um, this is also hole number two of the Cinco de Mayo tournament. This hole is findable on tours four and six. So let's get ready and go. We're gonna go ahead and get started here. Um, I would suggest using either a Goliath or a Backbone on this hole. And you can go with the basic or Marlin ball. Um, if you're worried about the power of your club, you can use a Navigator or a Quasar for a little bit extra power. Um, here I'm using a Titan ball because that is what I was using before um, I got to my shootout. So you see I have the Backbone. Um, I like the Backbone because of its accuracy. It allows you um, a little bit more forgiveness if you don't hit a perfect shot. Uh, you're going to see me go th four bars of backspin with a little bit of right spin as well. Um, with a 1.9 miles per hour wind, we're going to uh, adjust about a bar and a half um, for this one. And you're actually going to see me not hit a perfect shot. I hit it left um, of perfect. and But you're still going to see my bounce pretty much in the middle of that green, which is a result of the accuracy on that club. Um, and we drop it fairly close to the hole. If we had hit a perfect, we might have gotten the ace. Um, so you're going to see my opponent here with his backbone. And right away you can see he is struggling to move his ball forward. Um, he just does not have the power um, with the Marlin ball. Um, what he should be doing now is switching his ball to either the Quasar or Navigator to give him a little bit extra power and give him the ability to aim his shot farther onto that green um, onto that island fairway area so he's going to take his shot here um, and unfortunately for him he does not have the power um, especially since he needs to be overpowering his shot just a little bit here which he doesn't uh, he's going to catch the fringe of that rough and roll into the bunker which is a result of his not overpowering his shot um, because of his lack of power so anyways, that is how you're going to play hole number one of the Milanio course, and this is a par three shootout hole, and it's also hole number two of the Cinco de Mayo tournament. So good luck to you all as you play.